Wife, F-28, has an unbeatable tactic that I, M-30, can't deal with. Gonna try to keep this short, but, it happened recently and I wanted to ask for advice because it's fresh on my mind. Every time I do something wrong in our relationship be it something big or something small and my wife points it out. I try my best to explain to her that I understand why something I did made her feel the way she feels. Then I try to take steps to correct that behavior or mistake and try to do things to make sure it doesn't happen again. But when I try to point something out that my wife has done to hurt my feelings, she immediately gets frustrated that I pointed something out she did to hurt me, because I'm making her feel bad. Then she apologizes profusely and then says a ton of negative stuff about herself, I'm ruining your life. I'm the worst person in the world. I don't know why you're even with me. I'm stupid. Etc. And I don't know what to do about that. I always kinda just freeze up and tell her that whatever she did was just a mistake and that she's human and I'm probably overreacting, but deep down that's not always how I feel. E.g. oftentimes whenever she's had a bad day at work she'll come in and happily greet our two fur babies then turn to me and be short with me about something being dirty and or just having a bad attitude in general. Then later if I point that out she'll blame her attitude and treatment of me on her workday and say it's not her fault for getting angry she had a bad day, and now she's ruined the rest of my night by hurting my feelings, but also I should apologize for pointing out her behavior and making her feel bad. TLDR. Pointing out wife's behavior is apparently bad because it makes her feel bad. I don't know what to do when she apologizes and talks down to herself while apologizing and trying to instantly defuse the situation. I said I'd try to keep it short. My bad. Pretty solid manipulation tactic she's got there. Obviously it's not okay, but she's learned that she can use that to get out of trouble and you're allowing it to happen. Maybe next time, don't? She's trained you to back down with a classic manipulation tactic, and you've fallen for it? So next time, don't. Sorry you feel bad that you snapped at me, but those are your feelings and we're not focusing on your feelings, but mine. I'm not going to apologize for pointing out that you are mistreating me. I expect you to change this pattern of behavior because it's hurting our relationship. I, 26F, feel uncomfortable that my boyfriend, 27M, went in a private room at a strip club. I need some help understanding why I feel so uncomfortable that my boyfriend got in a private room at a strip club while he was out in Vegas. To be fair, he asked me if he could go to the strip club and I agreed thinking there would be no touching. But when we talked the next day he told me he touched the strippers basically everywhere except, well that area, but like boobs, ass, body. And there are a couple of things that are making me frustrated but I'm not sure what is justified and what isn't. I don't really think that it's a one-to-one -one on men with strippers and women with strippers because I don't think women get as much out of it as men do generally. I feel like making out with someone else and getting a little handsy or something would be a better comparison. And if I did that with a guy my boyfriend would not be okay and say I was cheating on him, but he can touch two different strippers at a club? It makes me feel insecure like he wants to experience other women I think it's such a huge waste of money. Like we're always splitting the bills at dinner and whatever, which is fine but now that I know he's down to spend hundreds at the strip club it pisses me off. I'm glad he told me what happened and we have a really good relationship but now I can't stop thinking about it. Sure, my boyfriend can decide to go into a private room at a strip club. And I would decide we are over. Funny how boundaries work, right? You mean you're uncomfortable that he cheated on you? Yeah, that would be it for me. No touching other women. Yay nothing good happens in private rooms so I wouldn't believe anything he told you. Yeah to me touching another woman like that counts as cheating. The idea that people in monogamous relationships would go to a strip club is weird to me to be honest, I don't get it. When it gets to touching I don't know how anyone sees it as anything but cheating. My mister wouldn't like me letting a man get handsy on the dance floor for free. Paying to touch up other women? I'm 15 years in and that would be instant divorce. My, 37M, wife, 38F, wants us to go to swinger parties, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Too long did not read. My wife wants to go to swinger parties, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Hey everyone, this is the first time for me to post something like this. Throw away account for obvious reasons. I've, 37M, been happily married to my lovely wife, 38F. We have three amazing kids and generally lead a very happy life. I've recently been approached by my wife, who told me about some close friends of ours apparently they've been going to these sex parties, in which you can find all sorts of sexual experiences for yourself, 
so our friend seems to add a female to their pair, and this seems to work for them. She then went on to say I was a very lucky guy, and she is very much advanced in that sense. She wants us to go to those parties as well, though I'm not sure she prefers the setting our friends do. On one hand I'm super excited about this, though I'm not showing it to her. I think this could really open up a whole spectrum of experiences for us. On the other hand I'm scared. I'm scared it would change our relationship forever, in ways I'm not sure I will like. Has anyone been there before? Did you take this step? How did it affect your relationship going forward? Thank you. That's quite a fancy way of saying, honey I want to fuck other people. I think you'll be divorced within 14 months. It's far more likely to destroy your relationship than do anything else. Personally I think potential, reward, pales compared with probable risk. Perhaps you value your relationship and sex in different proportions than me though. Are you cool with watching your wife get railed by another guy? Because that is absolutely 100% going to happen. Happily married. And, happy life, and she wants to screw other people? Man. Oh, man. Why so much hypocrisy? We are not a dumb bunch here. I, 18M, can't break up with my girlfriend, 19F. My girlfriend has had a very traumatic and terrible childhood at the abuse of her narcissistic mother so it is understandable that she has her issues. She is depressed at times and even suicidal when things go wrong in her life, as well as a history of mental health problems. We have had some rough patches as a couple and a few hours ago I found out that she cheated on me a few weeks ago with a guy the first have particularly always hated. I feel immeasurably hurt and broken. I love her, but recently it has become painfully obvious to me once again that I could not break up with her because she would commit suicide. No matter how much she hurts me I could never leave her, she barely has anyone in life, and if I leave I know she would do something to herself. I know she loves me, and I really do love her. But this makes me feel insanely trapped and hurt. What do I do in a situation like this? Am I really doomed to live like this for the rest of my life? Using suicide as a threat to keep someone with her who doesn't want to be there is extremely toxic and manipulative. Does she have any responsible adults who you can share this information with? If someone needs to keep an eye on her mental health it shouldn't have to be the person who she's cheating on. She has a history of mental health problems. Express. Does your GF's history include a personality disorder? If so, which one? Also, does she also show signs of having a strong abandonment fear? For example, a few months into your relationship, did she start showing strong jealousy over harmless events involving other women or try to isolate you away from your close friends and family members? Does she view your spending time with friends, family as you're choosing them over her? Does she usually hate being alone by herself?